Avid has released Pro Tools 11.0.1, which is an update to Pro Tools 11 that was released last week. So let's go ahead and install it. So if you watched my previous Pro Tools 11 videos, you'll know that last time when we were installing Pro Tools 10.3.6, we just went ahead and updated the 10.3.5 that was already on there. We didn't uninstall it. I just updated the easy way and everything worked out just fine. It operated just fine. But this time, just to do something different, let's install Pro Tools 11.0.1, .1, the approved Avid method. So Avid suggests that you uninstall your previous version of Pro Tools before installing the new version. So that's just what we'll do. I'm on Windows 8, so we'll come here to the start page. I'll simply right click the Pro Tools 11 icon, come down here and choose uninstall. So that will bring up programs and features where we can uninstall our programs and Avid also suggests suggest doing a clean install of your Avid audio interface driver. So the first thing I'm going to do is uninstall my 11 rack driver. All right, so that's done. So now we'll come down here to Avid Pro Tools and we'll make sure it's saying down here 11.0.0 because we also have 10.3.6 on here. And we don't want to un uninstall that. So we'll come up here and click change. We'll come down to uninstall and I'm going to choose uninstall Pro Tools, the HD driver preferences database. I'm going to uninstall everything. Be sure to read the Avid suggestions and choose the one that's right for you. But this is the option that I'm going to choose. So we'll go ahead and click next and we'll let Pro Tools 11.0.0 uninstall. So while Pro Tools 11 is uninstalling, I'm going to come here to Device Manager. I'll just right click on the Start button and choose Device Manager. Make sure I come up here to View and Show Hidden Devices and come down here and you'll see that Avid 11 Rack is actually still listed even though we uninstalled the driver. So after Pro Tools 11 gets done uninstalling, we'll restart and then we'll recheck Device Manager after the uninstall to make sure that Avid 11 Rack is gone before we reinstall the driver. Okay, so Pro Tools 11 is done uninstalling and we'll restart the computer and I'll catch you after the restart. And we're back. You probably noticed that before the restart, the Pro Tools 11 shortcut was still left on our desktop. So I've actually already run CCleaner to get rid of all the registry entries and the shortcuts that were left behind from the uninstall. Running CCleaner is not something that Avid suggests. It's just something I usually do after uninstalling a program. And you'll see that now the shortcuts are gone. So we'll come back here to our device manager. We'll just right click the start menu. Make sure we go to view and show hidden options. And you'll see that even though we uninstalled that driver, we're still having the entry remain in device manager. So if you watched my previous videos with Pro Tools 11 and the 11 rack together, you'll know we were having some problems with phantom entries of the 11 rack showing up in Pro Tools 11, which was being caused by the Avid drivers not completely uninstalling. So before I reinstall the driver, I'm going to right click this in device manager and choose uninstall. Okay, so that's uninstalled now. So now I'm going to reinstall the 11 rack driver. So I'll just choose the setup here and install the 1.1.6 driver for Windows. Okay, so now that's installed. Now we can move on to installing Pro Tools 11.0.1. .1. So I'll just right click the setup like I like to do and choose run as administrator and we'll let Pro Tools 11.0.1 .1 install. All right, and you'll see here it says if you haven't already done so, be sure to install the latest hardware drivers. We've already done that, so I'll just click next here. And I'm just going to choose the standard installation and we'll click install and let that install. All right, so Pro Tools 11.0.1 .1 is now installed. We'll click finish and we need to restart our computer. So, so we'll go ahead and restart now. All right, so now we're back from the restart. You can see we have Pro Tools 11 installed there. There's our shortcut and we can launch this from the desktop or from the start page, which is what I'm going to do. I'll just right click the icon and I'll choose run as administrator. It's not required, but I like to do it and Pro Tools 11.0.1 .1 is launching. We can see that down here where it says 11.0.1 and it's launched. So now we'll just create a new session. We'll just call it PT1101 first run. And there we go. So 11.0.1 .1 is launching just fine. Go and create a couple tracks that's working. So because I chose to uninstall everything that also got rid of my preferences. So I'm going to make these volume meters wider. I'll just hold down control start and alt and click. And now we have our wide meters. I'll go ahead and color my tracks. Okay, so it looks like all that's working. We'll go ahead and close this down and save it. And we'll open up Pro Tools 10.3.6 to make sure that's still working too. All right, so Pro Tools 10.3.6 is now launched. We'll just open a session here. Okay, create a few tracks. Nice, so 10.3.6 is still working just fine. So now we'll close this down and reopen 11. Relaunch our session. Okay, so everything seems to be running fine here in 11.0.1 .1 here on Windows 8. So if you already have Pro Tools 11, you should be able to find the 11.0.1 .1 update in your Avid account. 
be sure to read all of the installation instructions that will be provided by Avid. And if you need to learn more about Pro Tools 11, you can go to avid.com.